so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to build the best early game mob farm so basically this mob farm is really good early game because it doesn't use any um comparators observers dispensers it uses a few iron buckets um and a few rails not a ton and basically we're going to be using this main mechanic as trapdoors uh, basically hold water it produces about ten thousand items per hour but that depends on how many levels you add so basically we're going to make it so that it's expandable so maybe early game you don't have a ton of blocks so you can just build one layer but in the future maybe you want to upgrade and add um, more layers so to start off we are going to build about 100 blocks into the sky and then after that we're going to be building like this big uh plus shape just like this so this orange side is going to be 31 blocks uh, long. It doesn't have to be colored or anything like that. I'm just doing that so that they're easily recognizable. Um, also to help you guys, maybe if you need help counting or something like that. I do recommend that you do it in a way that you can recognize um, each side easily. Um, so that this side is 31 and this side is 27. Um, so yeah. So on the 27 block side one or the blue side, we're going to go one block out. So basically we're going to put one there and there, and we're going to do that on the other end. And we're not going to do it on the orange side. After that, we want to go to the orange side and it doesn't matter, um, which side, just one of them. And then we're going to go up seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, just like that. And then we're going to make a little shape. I do recommend that you use a different block for this um, just to make it easier on yourself. And basically what we're going to do is create a V like this. And then we're going to go uh, one block down and then build three out in a diagonal line just like this. And you just want to keep repeating this pattern. So just like this, there should be about four levels. Um, and there should be three blocks wide and the end should be at the bottom of this So the end should be b below the block that we just placed on the blue side right here If it isn't that means you either you probably messed up with the length of the blue side or orange side So just make sure that the orange uh, side is 31 blocks long total So it's 15 15 one in the middle um, And then the blue side is 27 blocks long total and it's 13 13 plus one in the middle uh, so yeah, so after that you are gonna do this just the same thing on the other side So this is what you should have kind of a cascading V after that We're gonna build a heart shape at the tip of it So we're gonna go three blocks out here and then three more three more like this and then three out here Three out here one here and then here here and here and then just the last one right here So it should look like a um, a heart looking shape after that, we're basically going to be doing the same thing that we did with these blue blocks, but with uh, this block at the end. So we're just going to go one down, three out, and then one down. So this one will end basically after the third one, so it should look like that. So this one should end also on the fourth uh, level, so two, one, two, three, four, just like that. And you want to do this on the other side too. So this is what you should have, just two lines going three blocks down every level every four or yeah every level after that you just want to place uh, blocks on the top layer and you just well what, what I mean by top layer is that you don't want to place it like this you want to make sure that the block um, that's gonna be going down is gonna be on the top one and then you just keep doing like that you just want to do it on these blue blocks though so you want to do that on both sides and this is what it should look like after that you just want to basically fill it in just like this and just make sure that there is kind of like a three block here just like that oh and you just kind of want to make it look like this and now you just want to do that but on this end too so after all that is done um we are going to place a trap door right here and then basically we're going to surround it in glass this trap door and then basically after that, you want to bring it uh, one level up, just like that. So it's going to be two levels. It doesn't have to be made out of glass. This can be made out of anything. Um, if you do use a solid block, just make sure to place um, slabs on top of this. So after this, you just want to surround the thing. Just make sure that it's uh, two blocks tall and then just lower it down. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect. So after that, this is what it should look like. So once you've kind of surrounded it all in a block, you just want to place a water bucket in the middle here and then you want to open the trap door. And if you see, you should, you should see the water flow down perfectly. I'm going to turn off my shaders for this part just so you can see uh, very well on how it's kind of moving. Just like so. So you can see it moving down. 
and on these ends what we're gonna do is just add a tip just like this and then we can just kind of fix this to make it look like this right and here we're gonna get a sign I forgot to get a sign don't worry we'll get a sign real quick there you go you want to put a sign at the very end and you just want to make sure you do that on this end too let me just show you again you just create a little tip like this and just place a sign here so after that you've seen the water flow down smoothly on either end with a sign should be ending right here and then you can just remove the block that's there you just want to duplicate this but on the other side and you just want to make sure you follow the same rules um as just one block down three blocks long and then one block down three blocks long for four levels and hopefully you will be able to do it really easily all right so this is what you should have after the end of that so after that we're going to be making these tubes we're going to place a block here 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 and here and then we're going to do the same thing on this side just like that and then we're going to add water like this just like so and then we're going to add a water we're going to add a sign here and then water streams here and here and we're just going to place a block there so after that if you want you can remove um those blue and orange um, kind of lines there um, So what you want to do after this is just go one block lower and then go eight blocks or seven blocks my bad So one two three four five six seven seven and then just go another block one two three four five six seven And you just want to do this for until you reach the end of that All right So once you've built this out quite a bit what you want to do next is just do the same thing that we just did but on this side so just like this and then but this uh, this time we're gonna do a little different thing we're just gonna have it drop into this new water stream so we're gonna do this and then just do the same thing like here and this way if we throw an item uh, into the stream it should just land on the glass block down there I try to use a, a, a nice clear color but green is definitely not working but hopefully you'll be able to see it all right so after that you just want to bring down this water stream just like this or not water stream we're gonna add that later but you just want to bring down the glass blocks and just make sure to do this on the other side at the end of this make sure the the last uh, segment is just eight blocks long so once you've done that on that side you want to place in your water and then you just want to um, cover this up so it's just like a tube down and then you just want to place blocks all above it just like this yep um, make sure you don't accidentally block the water that's coming out so you can just use a chest and a hopper for the end of this the only issue is that this mob farm might produce too much items for the hopper to pick up so maybe you could add a few more kind of like um, like this if you want um, but yeah so after uh, you have built that what you want to do is come to the trap door and then go one block down or two blocks down and place a trap door below or place a redstone torch below the trap door and then you want to place 15 blocks out so just like this so one two three four just like that you can place a redstone above and then you just want to do the same thing on this side um, so this is what you should have so if you activate these rails the water stream um, should start uh, streaming I guess I don't know it should start going and then um, if you remove it it should close just like that so after that you just want to connect these two redstone lines just like this with uh, redstone in the middle and then just repeaters at the ends and then you want to build a 9 by 3 uh, donut basically right here so this is nine blocks long and three blocks wide and then you just want to surround it in glass and also put glass in the middle so after that what you're going to want to do is place a detector rail right here and then another right here and you want to do the same thing on this end and then here you want to place a uh, powered rail right here and then just use um, normal rails just to go around place water here and then water here and then you want to place powered rails here, here, and then you just want to make sure you power these with a solid block, just like this. Also, to make sure to power this one too, I forgot to do that. And then after that, you just want to place water here, and it should flow all the way around. Now, when you put a minecart, it should just go in pretty slow. should be kind of like hitting these things, and then they stop, and then it just kind of goes around. Basically like that.
So the next thing we're going to do on the front power rails, basically the, the power rails that are closer to the, this redstone line, we're going to place two redstone below them, just directly below them, so that when we place a minecart right on top, you should see it activate just like this. Um, you can just remove the minecart that's been going around for now. So after you do that, you want to place a block right here with a redstone torch, and then you want to add a piston right here. And then you want to add another one right here and then place a block uh, here actually that we're going to move this over. So now when a minecart goes by it, what should happen? It should push the block over um, and then once it hits that one, it should move it back. And then what we can do after that is just place a block right here and place a repeater here. So what should happen now is that when it goes by, it will push the the block into place and that should power the water and then once it gets to the other one it should remove the block and it should turn off the water next part we are going to need to know where the middle is i did kind of mess up and just removed it um but you can find it very easily by just kind of centering um a block in the middle of everything so the next thing you want to do is on the other set of detector rails you want to place a block here block here and then rest it on top so that when the minecart goes over it these should turn on so after that you just want to add a block right next to these and then you just want to you want to create a redstone torch tower just about two blocks uh or you know we can go an extra block higher uh we'll go one more because these need to be off just like so. So what we're going to do is basically the same thing that we did down here, but up here. So we're just going to place these two pistons here. So we're going to place a block uh, right here. And then we're going to place a redstone torch below right here. And then we're going to add a repeater right here. So that when the minecart goes around, it will push this block here. And then once it goes around again, it will push it back. Or once it hits that one, it will push it back. So after this, you want to kind of be leveled with the uh, with the actual bottom of this right here. Just like, like right here in the middle. So you just want to make sure that the middle block that you're going to be using, just kind of as a reference, is going to be kind of centered. And what you're going to do is actually build about 30 blocks into the air. So after that, what we're going to do is actually just move this redstone to here and what we're going to create is another redstone torch tower just like this uh like this we're going to finish it real quick but what we're going to do is actually just move this redstone here so that when the minecart goes around you should see this um redstone torch tower turn off and on so after this what you're going to do is just basically keep going until you reach that uh that block right there the 30 blocks up the the block that's 30 blocks up so once you reach uh, the top to your 30 block, you just want to make sure that this one is on uh, for the most part. It just kind of hit the redstone, but this should be on um, if you want to. So just for now, we're just going to remove that redstone just to make sure we know what we're doing. So once this one is on, you want to place one here and then you want to create kind of like a snake just like this. And then you want to place uh, ones there and then you want to place ones here. So one side should be on and one side should be off. So after that, on the first one that's on, actually right here, we're going to place a block here and then a, a trap door there. And as you can see, as I place that trap door, you want to do this on both ends, by the way. As you see, this trap door is like automatically open. Um, usually they are closed, right? So you just want to make sure, oh, well, they're usually, how can I make this look closed? They're usually closed, basically, right? So this is... Right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this one's automatically open. And if you want to test it, if you place the block back down, uh, you'll notice or you just break the redstone below it. Like right here, it will it will open. If you place it back, it will close. Well, technically, this is closed, right? After that, what you're going to want to do is just place uh, any block around this. Just make sure to slab it on top. So once you're at this point... Um, what you want to do next is that you want to place a slab here. It doesn't matter um, what block you use or what type of slab. This is going to be the platform for where the mobs are going to be spawning. And then you want to go out one, two, th three, four, five. You want to do the same thing here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you want to go um, and make a cone shape. So basically, if you just do this all along, it should kind of end up looking like a cone just like that after that you just want to go one block down and then go eight blocks out and then i want you to do that on those ends too so just like that you should have um two 
or three points that are eight blocks long. Just make sure that they are eight. So I'm noticing this one isn't. This one's seven, so this should be eight. And then we want to do is just connect these ends just like this. And then it should end up looking like a point, just like so. After that, you're just going to fill this in. So after you filled it in, what you want to do next is just add in these blocks right here. It doesn't have to be glass. If you're not going to be using a uh, transparent block, just make sure to uh, slab this off. And then you just want to do this on the other end. And so this is what it should look like. And just to make sure, you can add a water here. And then if you open it, you should see that the water should flow and end at the end of this, just like so. Just make sure to close this back up so that the water will go away. And now when the minecart comes, the trap door will open and the water will flow. So basically, you want to do the same thing that we just did on that end, but on this end. So after that, this should be your kind of final product. Just always remember to add water here. So if you want to work on here, you can just place um, torches on here without worrying about the farm breaking as when you're kind of finished, the water will just wash away the torches. So after that, this is what it should look like. So as you can see, we have two platforms right here. And just for the sake of this video's length, we're just going to create, uh, we're not going to create any more layers, but if you want to expand to this farm, Basically, what you want to do is that you just want to continue this torch tower. So after this, you can just place a block on top and then just a trap door. And as you can see, this trap door is already ready. Um, and then you can just uh, create another uh, level right here. As you can see, just like so. Yeah, you can just continue creating layers, as many as you need. One thing I forgot to mention is that for where you want to stand as you can see i have a block over there um once you're done with the first platform you can just build out like this and just or go right here and you just build 80 blocks out that way so this is like the afk spot right here where you can just stand and just let mobs spawn as you can see like that one right there um also i do recommend that you build some sort of cage for yourself or else you're gonna be uh, annoyed by um, phantoms and things like that if you're gonna be afk for like a long time um, so yeah, so for this last part, which it really is, you know, after a few hours of recording and fixing everything, we are finally at the end. Um, so the last thing you guys need to do is just make a, um, a sunroof and to make this we're just going to be at the top of the world, basically at 320 right here. And then this is going to be in the middle of the farm. And then you're just going to build 23 blocks out from every uh, corner. So from here, here. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you just want to make sure you build that far away at every end. So once you're about 23 blocks in every direction, what you're going to want to do now is just connect these corners. So this is what it should look like. And you just want to do this on every corner. So once you have it like this, you just want to fill it all in. So once you're done with the sunroof, um, we're going to make one quick change down here. I'm noticing that um, mobs are like, because of the water, basically, they're landing on um, the water. What we're going to do is actually just quickly move this, um, this detector rail one block backwards. And then we're going to move, this one's not going to be moved, but there were rails here. And we're just going to replace all the rails with water. And so basically what we're going to do is actually remove... Um, this block right here where the redstone torch is sitting on and we're just going to place a target block right here and we're just going to increase the redstone right there so with that we are officially done with the mob farm the mob i recommend for the mob farm you will get about 10,000 items per hour um if you build about eight levels um but of course since you have so much room here you can probably fit about 15 to 20 um and honestly i haven't built it that high but you can probably get maybe like 30, 35,000 items per hour. Um, so it can definitely be expanded and produce you a ton of loot. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm not going to lie. It took me a few hours to make this video. So hopefully you guys can just leave me a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.